Hi guys, my name's Nick. I'm a local photographer from the Yarra Valley. I'm actually here to talk about Kangaroo Island and what a fantastic place it is. I've just spent five days with the family there. So for me, there was a top four. Number four was to go see John the Pelican Man at King's Coat. Phenomenal sight seeing these masters of evolution, the pelican, all gathered together in one place. There must be up to about 30 of these big birds all gathered around the feet of John as he spills fish innards and heads all over them and they just ugh, get goosebumps being in amongst all that lovely food. And John, he's insightful, humorous, entertaining. I went along twice to check him out and I could have gone along every night that I was there. Number three, it's a bit of a joint one this, but they're all in the one destination. It's on Dudley Peninsula. That is head down Chapman River, which is beautiful in itself with all these red, pink, purple succulents spread along both banks of the river at one point. But get on into Chapman River Winery and they have a great little atmosphere there. It's Australian come Moroccan come Madagascar type African vibes. Lots of beautiful little footstools inside, plush couches. We've got some great books in there on dogs if you're a dog lover, so check out the photography in those. And say good day to Jacko, the local terrier. And keep on moving down onto the Cape Willoughby Point where you'll find a big lighthouse there and the drive down there is just spectacular. More great photography to be had there. Number two is all about Vivon Bay. Now, you follow the road down into Vivon Bay and you just take it all the way to the end, pull up in the car park there, and you'll come across these magnificent rocks that have just eroded over time into all these beautiful rounded shapes and you can watch the waves crash against the rocks there and get some more great photography. I could have spent the whole day there. Number one for me is a bit of a tourist trap and everyone who comes to Kangaroo Island heads to this spot. Even if it's the only spot they check out, they go, right over the other side of the island to check it out and that is the Triumph Arch and the Remarkables. The arch itself is quite beautiful to look at but for me the surrounding areas of rock covered in seals, watching them interact and play and drop into the wild ocean is more entertaining and exciting to see than the Triumph Arch itself. How those seals survive in such wild rugged waters it's, well, it's testament to evolution again, and it's something that I always consider how animals evolve. Um, it's really a, a phenomenal thing. And then the remarkable rocks. They are just that, remarkable. No photography, no video could ever do them justice. You have to be there in person, take in the full panoramic view around you to the wild ocean below, and then spin around and look back on these rocks that have eroded into all different kinds of shapes and hollowed themselves out from the wind and it's just I've never seen anything like it and if you get to the island uh, that is the one place get into Flinders Chase National Park the remarkable rocks and the Triumph Arch Guys, I hope this little video gives you some help with planning a trip to Kangaroo Island and we'll see you with more outdoor adventures down the track. Adios.